Here we are on the front of Greg's body, his interior chest. We're into the anterior deltoid and up through the clavicular, pectoralis clavicular, pectoralis major. And it's just starting to melt. We've actually been here for a few minutes as we were getting the camera ready. And now I guess you could call it perfect timing because you can see how that fascia is starting to melt and move. See, you can't push the river, you have to be patient when you work with this, otherwise uh, you're not going to get nearly the results that we, we desire. We want to see that Greg gets the most out of this that he can, so he doesn't want his therapist uh, rushing through things. So, you have to be careful. That's sort of a guiding light guides you instead of trying to force your way through this. And everybody will be a lot further ahead in the long run. So, earlier before we got to this area, we Greg and I had worked on this maybe a half an hour ago or so. So it is uh, a little better than it had been you know, when he arrived, but you can still work on this. Also through here is you know, some acupressure points. Some of you might know these as trigger points. Uh, they are in some respects synonymous terms. They uh, rely in the meridians and in nerve centers. Think of them sometimes the little trigger points are like little glitches that like get stuck on a sweater. Those little pills that you see, and that's what kind of happens in the fiber and the muscle. You have these sticky little fibers that run through here, and sometimes they just need a little bit of help because they tend to get a little pulled and, well, um, rather stuck together, a little glued together because the glia, which is Greek for glue, is, well, just what we're saying. It's very sticky like glue. And that's what the human body is uh, like beneath uh, Greg's skin here. So, right here we're getting into some tendon areas. And these are nice areas to get. He'll feel that. and. Again, we were here a little earlier, I, th I think, so it's been released some, but we'll get a little bit more of it. And the effects of this can last for days, sometimes week it, weeks, it just depends. Um, and every once in a while it just clears up, which is always cool. When someone's had a shoulder problem for many, many months, and all of a sudden uh, they go to the right therapist at the right time, and everything gets better and stays that way. But, those are, you know, I'm going to say one out of a hundred, maybe one out of fifty, or two out of a hundred. I mean, you know, you don't always get those immediate healings, but they happen. Right now, we're getting in through, I'm sure Greg feels that, that probably feels pretty good. Yeah, again, we've got bicep tendon here. These Now, these are all guesses. I can't really uh, tell you I know that for sure. You can't really grab a tendon or a muscle, uh, so to speak. You, know, you can't just grab any particular one at one time. But under here, we have um, tendons from the pec major, pec minor, pec clavicular, bicep, deltoids, it's a major junction point right here. Um, some of you that do or maybe study lymphatic massage know that this is an important point. If you melt this through and you don't rush, you're going to get some pretty dramatic changes in this whole uh, shoulder girdle. And along with that, as we were mentioning with the endorphins and neuropeptides earlier, right in here is a pretty uh, saturated little pool, a little pond of endorphin, neuropeptide, 
activity that's going to be released into his bloodstream. Now this is starting to unwind a little bit. If you watch my fingers, you can see that sort of twisting, turning like uh, taffy. It's like unwinding a spool of yarn. Another nice uh, uh, metaphor is uh, like getting gum out of hair. It uh, really feels good to the person receiving it, especially if they're um, athletic and healthy and muscular as Greg is. He's uh, really going to like that. That's going to feel really good. If someone were perhaps weak and more fragile, you know, we have to take age and um, level of activity into account and so forth, but uh, my, my guess is, is that, now that's really releasing right there, my guess is that he's really going to like that. It's going to feel good while he's receiving it and then uh, afterwards he'll enjoy uh, working out and throwing the baseball a little more.